Well, hello my darlings and welcome to day two of Danny's Designs Craftmas. I am so glad that you are here. Well, today on my channel we are going to create a Christmas ornament shadow box. Please stay tuned. For this project, you will need two packs of these 12 pack ornaments, any embellishments of your choosing, and you will need four of these 8 by 10 picture frames. Of course, you'll need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we are going to do for this project is we are going to prepare all of our frames in the same way. We are going to remove the backing, any paper that's in there. We're going to remove the three dimensional frame part. We are going to take the glass out. Then we are going to use our wire cutters to remove all of the tabs that hold our glass and our backing together. Once we have done that, we are going to reserve only two of the glasses from the four of these frames. We're not going to need the other two. Now, once we have taken all of those clips out, we are going to, using our E6000 and hot glue, we are going to prepare two of those frames to hold two of those glasses that we withheld. And to do so, I'm simply going around the perimeter of my frame with some beads of E6000 glue. And then when I am finished, I am also going to go around that perimeter as well with some beads of hot glue to ensure that we can continue working with our right now adhesion from that hot glue while our E6000 cures over time. Now, once we have placed all of our hot glue where we need it to be, it is simply going to be a matter of placing that glass right back into that space, applying some pressure, to ensure that all of that glue engages and once we have done so we are going to set it on a side to dry before we continue our process so while we wait for our other two frames to dry with the glasses in them we are going to prepare our second two frames. Now notice, these ones will not have the glasses in them because these are going to be the middle of our shadow box. And to prepare these, what we're going to do is we're going to glue them together with our usual process of placing a foundation of E6000 glue and then on top of that E6000 we're going to place a foundation using our hot glue gun. Now I would like to caution you that when you're doing this not to use too much glue because yes even though you want to ensure that you are going to have a nice snug fit or seal you do not want your glue to be too goopy or soupy and it's falling out and you are going to have too much cleanup so if you're noticing i am simply putting down beads of glue in an alternating fashion not placing hot glue where there is already e6000 glue but placing that hot glue in empty spaces once I have placed the hot glue where I need it to be, it is simply going to be a matter of placing my frame on top of the other frame, applying some pressure, and then setting it to dry for a few minutes. Now, 
if after you are sure that this has set and you would like to go look around and make sure that you can clean up any glue that spills over before it sets too hard please take this time to do so quickly so that your cleanup will not be as involved as it would if you left that glue to dry all the way so now that our two frames have been dried and stuck together, what we're going to do now is we are going to affix our frames that have the glass on top of the two middle frames. And again, to do this, we are simply going to go in and use our E6000 as well as our hot glue to form the adhesion or the seal that we would need. And so just following the pattern of using glue dots going around with your E6000, and then on top of that going around with your hot glue now please note i made a mistake and not really a mistake because you can't see it in the end but just note as you can see i am going around trying to stick to the inner perimeter of that frame please do not do so please try to stay within the middle of the frame because what happens and you will see when i place my frame on top of it you will be able to look into that shadow box and see that glue now luckily that e6000 as well as untouched hot glue dries clear so when it dries it will not create much of a problem but just so you learn from my mistake my darlings try to stay within the middle of your frame to ensure that none of that glue is showing through and as you can see you look down and you can see the edges of that glue right there and that is not what you want so now that we have placed our glue I am just going to set this to dry and then I'll be back to tell you what our next step is so now that the bottom of our shadow box has been all secured it is now time to place our ornaments into our shadow box and this is the fun part as you can see i'm using a combination of medium sized ornaments as well as some smaller ornaments and what i'm doing right now is i'm just throwing them in just randomly and once i have finished placing them I am going to move some around so that there will be a good placement of reds and greens and silvers and gold and not too many of the same colors together. Now, once I have found my placement, what I'm going to have to do to ensure that I'm going to be able to close this box is I am going to have to place my last and final frame on top to ensure that those ornaments are not going to be in the way of me closing my box and as you see i just did it and i can still eke a little bit more in there and it might be too much but really and truly when you're building this what you will have to do is just play with it to ensure that you can or you will have the right amount by adding by taking out it's a give and take um, to get this done but once you have found how many of those ornaments you can comfortably fit into your shadow box it is then going to be a matter of gluing your shadow box shut using a combination of e6000 glue and hot glue to ensure a nice and secure close now to do this i am just going to continue the same process we have used using our dots of e6000 and then on top of that using our dots of hot glue and i'm going to continue this process off camera and then i'll be back to tell you what 
Now here we have our box that has been sealed and as you can see, I used a little bit too much glue that happened to seep out. Now, of course, you can always take your time and clean that up or you could take some diamond wrap and cover it all up and no one would be none the wiser. Plus, the diamond wrap gives it a nice festive look. And so all I'm going to do to adhere this diamond wrap to my shadow box is I am going to use some hot glue to do so. Now what I was just showing you that I neglected to mention is before you place your diamond wrap on the box, be sure which orientation you are going to have this shadow box sit. Now, are you going to have it sit horizontally or are you going to have it sit vertically? Now, once you have decided which orientation you are going to use, it is simply going to be a matter of placing your diamond wrap on all three sides except for the side it will be sitting on. And so to do this now, all we're going to do is use our hot glue to place our diamond wrap and I'm going to start this process of course on camera and then I'm going to finish it off camera and then I'll be back to show you what our next step is. Now here we have our almost completed shadow box that we created using all of Dollar Tree products. And now what we're going to do is place our embellishment. Now initially, I wanted to use this green and gold poinsettia, but it was clamped together, I don't know if you can see there, by a divot um, which held on that clasp that I could not get off with out damaging the pendant and so instead of ripping that pendant apart I decided instead to use this piece of greenery that I also got from the Dollar Tree which also had a clasp to it but this class was much easier to pull out. Now, the only thing with pulling that clasp out was when I did, the whole, whole thing fell apart, which is fine because all I did to put it back together was to glue it down in components on my shadow box, or rather I should say in layers. And so the first thing that went down were the holly leaves. And then once that sets and it might take, it's going to take a while. It took a while because that picture frame, that part of the picture frame is actually metal. Metal conducts heat. So it's going to take a while to set. And then once I got my holly leaves to set, I placed my evergreen leaves being sure not to burn my fingers, of course. And then once I got those evergreens to set, I then took my pine cone that had some red leaves on it with apples and I think an ornament, yes. And then I added some more glue to the center of it and then I just placed that in there as well and left it to dry. So while I am leaving this to dry, I am going to clean up any glue fronts there are. I'm going to set the table and then I will be back to show you what our finished project looks like. And there you have it, my darlings. Craftmas Day 2, our Christmas ornament shadow box that we created using exclusively all Dollar Tree products. Isn't it beautiful? Now, I think my favorite part of this box is just the fact that it is see-through and because it is see-through I just think that it is very playful it is very whimsical and so your guests whenever they do come over and they're looking at your holiday decor I promise you this is going to be one of their favorites well my darlings I thank you for tuning in to day two of Danny's Designs Craftmas and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on day three so until then, please 
Take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>